Okay, welcome. This is One Gratitude. I'm Lorraine Aguilar, and you can go ahead and type your gratitude into the comments, both for our live viewers here as well as anyone watching on the recorded version of this. I'll share my gratitude with you, play you a little song, a little Fleetwood Mac today, and then scroll through your responses of our live viewers for some shout outs. So on this uh, beautiful Saturday here in Southern California, I am so grateful <laughs> to watch the final episode of my favorite TV show, <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race season finale. It actually happened last night, but I'll be watching the recorded version tonight. So no spoiler alerts, who won? Because <laughs> I'll be waiting tonight to find that out. And as I, uh, as I look into myself, why am I so excited about this TV show? What is it about flamboyant drag queens that just makes me so happy? <laughs> and, and actually more than happy, it makes me also sad, happy, the whole gamut, but connecting to deeper parts of myself. And what's under that gratitude is that for me, um, femininity came very late into my life. I was a tomboy. And as a matter of fact, I probably would have, you know, <laughs> felt, I felt more like a boy than a girl as a little kid. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just how I was. And I, it was much later in life that I started exploring the feminine side of me, just very naturally, very organically. And so what I love about this TV show is here are all these uh, predominantly men, but also um, non-binary and transgendered women now who are expressing very artistically their versions of the feminine sides of themselves, of their femininity. And so for me, the gratitude is, um, yeah, I wanna be fierce like that. I wanna be fearless like that. I want to see my own expression in this world as art, not to prove anything, but just to blossom as, as I am in whatever ways that make me happy. So I'm almost cheering up saying that, but it, for me, it's tremendously inspiring for my own personal journey to watch this show. So um, here's to the inner drag queen and all of us <laughs> and to me and what, it, what any sort of artistic expression and exploration of our feminine sides um, can bring. So that's, that's my gratitude, kind of a deep one today, um, but a big one and I can't wait to watch the finale, yay. Okay, what is yours as I play a little Fleetwood Mac dreams for you? Man, I've been working the guitar solo on this. I wish I, I had a looper pedal down for this, but let's see. Actually, I do. Let's see if I can try a looper pedal. Okay, first attempt. I don't know how it's gonna go. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do it. I don't have it down yet. <laughs> Now here you go again, you say you want your freedom. Well, who am I to keep you down? It's only repetition.
channel my inner Stevie Nicks on that one. <laughs> okay, let me get my glasses and see all your beautiful gratitudes. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, user error 999. Glad to have you here for the first time, I believe, and for your sweet comments. And oops, hold on a second. The oh, I see some beautiful gratitudes coming in. Thank you, Klaus, for your sweet comment about rocking here. Okay, the first gratitude I see is from Klaus NVC in the Netherlands. He says, I'm grateful to live a life that makes me feel free and happy. Yes, <laughs> freedom and happiness. And isn't it amazing how, well, it's not amazing actually, isn't it essential how freedom and happiness really go together? Without freedom, what would we have? You know, I wouldn't have started my own business if I didn't long for a lot of personal freedom that uh, a, a standard nine to five wouldn't have given me. And so I'm, I'm glad for you, Klaus, that you have a life where you are free and happy. And may we all enjoy those qualities. Dear Wolfgang Foxtrot V says, uh, in Germany, he says, I am grateful for experimenting, which we did in our practice group today. And I am grateful that it recently found out that this is us, number four and five, can be viewed in Germany now. Oh, so cool. Well, first of all, when you say uh, that you experimented in your practice group, I'm guessing that might be a nonviolent communication practice group. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, but that you experimented. And um, Wolfgang, I can't emphasize enough for anyone who's watching this. I really believe that this is the age of experimentation. The clay is wet in our lives. The clay is wet in society, in the world right now. Um, it's it's no longer about how do we navigate uncertainty, right? It's actually how do we create from uncertainty into certainty, and that's up to us, and that's up to us to experiment with all kinds of things, ways of communicating, ways of working, um, ways of coming together to make change in our world. So yay for experimentation, and I'm glad that you did that today. And then I'm loving the TV show theme, This Is Us. I'm guessing episodes four and five can be viewed in Germany now. If I didn't understand that correctly, please uh, correct me. But uh, isn't it nice to see your, your favorite TV shows sometimes? <laughs> I hope you get more episodes or, or seasons. Maybe they're seasons, not episodes you're talking about. Okay, dear Olaf Geek Thai Guy says, I'm grateful for a steadily beating heart. Oluf, I'm grateful that you have a steadily beating heart. And I'm hearing that, that it might be both literally, because I know a lot of people have, um, oh, there's a word for it, where the heart doesn't beat as steady. Um, atrial fibrillation, I believe. I, I, I could be wrong in the metal, medical term. So medically, I certainly hope that you have a steadily beating heart. But I'm also hearing that that could be a metaphor to uh, have a steady beating heart. Yeah, as, as Aretha Franklin <laughs> says, rock steady. You know, may we all be steady in our heart center. So, Olu, thank you for that. And uh, Wolfgang, oh, thanks Wolfgang, you're, you're clarifying um, my, my question. He was saying, yes, experimenting in a nonviolent communication group. Yay, keep pushing the envelope, Wolfgang. That's what this time is all about. And uh, thank you for clarifying that. Oh, and yes, it's not episodes four and five, it's series four and series five of the TV show. Yeah, no worries, thank you so much. And then uh, Olaf is chiming in, he says, I love This Is Us. So we have some This Is Us television fans here. I'll have to check it out sometime, I've, I've never seen it. And I uh, want to welcome a new person today, user error 999. Welcome, user error. And uh, their gratitude is, I'm grateful for having such a wonderful and talented family. Oh, 
User Air 999, I'm so glad you have a wonderful and talented family because not everyone has that gratitude for their family. There's a lot of families in this, these times that are disconnected and don't appreciate each other. So the fact that you have that is something precious and thank you for sharing that with us. Yay, and welcome, hope to see more of you. And then Wolfgang is saying, um, once someone told me, you have to look, this is us. They talk so NVC-ish. <laughs> okay, so I know a lot of folks who participate in this gratitude practice or who watch this are um, practitioners of nonviolent communication, um, in including most of us here. And I had never made the connection that the film or the, the TV series, This Is Us, that the language is very uh, NVC-ish, nonviolent communication-ish. So now you've really intrigued me. Thank you so much. Okay, these are all the gratitudes I see today. So off go the reading glasses. And uh, in closing, may this practice that we share, <clears throat> excuse me, may it help us all not only those of us who shared live, but anyone who's viewing this, may it help us to stay connected to the things in life that matter and make it easier to release the things in life that don't matter or no longer matter as much so that we can do our part, whatever that is, to facilitate humanity rising during these powerful days when the clay is still wet about our collective future. I'm so grateful to you all. Thank you for sharing this, this practice with me and have a wonderful week. Thank you so much.